Hey guys, welcome to Tony's How To's. In this video, I will show you how to connect Streamlabs to TikTok. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. The first thing that you want to do here is just basically install Streamlabs into your desktop or laptop. Now, once you've installed that, you could go ahead and just access it. So in this case, since I already opened this one, so if you're fairly new to Streamlabs, the first thing that you'll see on Streamlabs is the login page. So in the login page, you could easily connect your different accounts. So if you have a Twitch, you could go ahead and do that. And if you have TikTok, which is fairly new here, you'll be able to also connect that into Streamlabs. So how do we access the login page when we have already open up Streamlabs here. Well, this one is pretty easy. What you need to do is you need to click or look for the log and link, which is usually located at the bottom left of your screen. Now, once you click on that, this UI will appear here. So as you can see, these are the platforms available for live streaming. But as you can see, the, you don't see TikTok here. Well, it's actually here in the select platform option. So these are the other platforms that you could go live to. So once you click on that, you should be able to see TikTok here. So just click on that one. It's going to initiate this process wherein you'll be able to log in. So in this case, you should just start logging in into your account. So you could choose Facebook, Google, Twitter, or continue with line if you have that. But if you have another means like using a QR code or even your email or username, you could go ahead and use that. But for now, let's just go ahead and log in. Now, as you can see, since I'm logging in, so if you're fairly new to logging in with your TikTok, and act, oh, basically you have a new account on TikTok, which is going, you're going to use it for live streaming. It's going to say this will allow TikTok to do the following. So just need to click on allow and it's going to start a process on logging in you in. Now here, once the login process is complete, it's going to say authorize Streamlabs web access to your TikTok account. So in this case, let's just click on authorize. And once this authorize completes, you'll be redirected to the main page here on Streamlabs. So the cool thing about this one, so if you use to connect your TikTok here, it's going to automatically edit the layout of your screen here. As you can see, it immediately changes to this format here, which is for TikTok. Now, how do you actually set up your Streamlabs for TikTok live streaming? So in this case, first is we have to add our scene and our sources. So our scene here is going to contain our sources, which is in case involves the screen or the game you're playing or something uh, that you want to show to your audience. So in this case, we already have a scene here, but if you want to create one, just click on add new scene, add a name here and just click on done. Now, once you've done that, you need to add our sources. Now here, just click on the plus button on sources and choose the way that you want to add a source. So you have images, color block, browser source, and the famous and the most reliable one here, it is Windows Capture. But we also have Game Capture here if you want to use that. But for now, let's just use Windows Capture and just click on add source at the bottom right. Now from here, you'll be asked to add another name. Just click on add source. And from here, you could choose the window that you want to live stream. So in this case, let's just click on this one and just click on done. Now, once you've added that, you could go ahead and add other sources. So if you have a webcam for, for this example, let's just add a uh, picture here or a video capture device if you want to as well. But for now, let's just add a new image here, just to give you an example. But you could do this for webcams as well. Now from here, we want to browse a image just to give you an example. And here, let's just go to downloads and choose any photo here. Just click on open. Click on done. And once you've done that, you could reposition it here. And here, sometimes the Windows capture here it will not immediately appear on your screen. You just need to wait for, wait for it to load up properly. But yeah, but we, while it's actually loading up, what we need to do here is we want to add, edit a few things on our, basically on our PC or in our settings here. So go ahead and click on the settings at the bottom left of your screen. And you want to change a few things here. Now in here, we want to go to our output here. And in here, we want to change our encoder 
encoder here so by default it's going to set to software but if you have another method here which is in this in this case i have amd here i'm going to choose amd now for bitrate this is going to be defaulted to another value so make sure to set this to 6000 now in preset make sure that you set this to quality now once you've done that we need to go to audio now in audio i would suggest you to keep this desktop audio device one to default but if you want to change that you could go ahead but i like this to keep in default because everything's going to be uh heard on my pc or like for example i'm playing a game any notification it's going to be heard on the desktop audio device one now also here this is your microphone so mic auxiliary device one here this is your microphone so make sure that you change this to some like for example if you're using like a professional microphone like cond condenser microphone make sure that you set that to that specific device because sometimes if you set this to default and uh, default if you have like a mic a webcam connected into your pc it's going to be defaulted into using your webcam so i would use i would suggest you to use the the, the other options here so if you have a professional mic make sure that you choose that one now once you've done that the next thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and go to video now in video i would suggest you to change the resolution if you have the capability but since we are using tiktok here so the base resolution for tiktok is 720 by 1280 so it's the best one here so that everything will be seen on your tiktok account or in your live stream now also make sure that you set the common fps value to 60 so that's the optimal fps value now once you've set all of this up just click on done at the lower right of your screen and again uh i just want to go back again in here the windows capture here we want to resize this one in a way that would be beneficial on our screen so in here we want to make sure that we make the certain part of that specific screen that we want to show to fit into our tiktok screen because right now it's not in the proper uh windows or in the uh, type that we usually have for streaming so this one is in vertical so just right click on it and you want to go ahead and go to transform and we want to make sure that we click on fit to screen now once you click on that you should be able to see this and from here you could also adjust this image here if you want to as well so right click on it so that you'll be able to transform and fit to screen as well now if you want to add like for example a background here of your specific um uh, streaming you could go ahead and add that but basically in this uh sources you could go ahead and go well be creative about that one this one but yeah so once you're done what you need to do is just click on the go live at the bottom right of your screen and it's going to ask you for your tiktok server url as well as your tiktok stream key now if you're wondering where do you actually see this one well you could actually see it but just by just click on the locate my stream key and it's going to pop up a new browser wherein you'll be able to see your server url as well as your stream key now if you're wondering if you're not able to see that it's going to say not found well tiktok streaming actually requires you at least a thousand followers for you to go live so if you're not yet around that specific follower count then unfortunately you won't be able to see your streaming key but yeah so you just need to input your server url as well as your stream key here and once you've done that you can go ahead and just click on confirm and go live and that's about it so thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, you could use the link in the description to subscribe. See you in the next video.